Hey you guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the remainder of November 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Uh, please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, uh, but hopefully you find clarity. Also, uh, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, check the description box below for ways to reach me. If you are wanting to reach me by phone, that's a separate process. Just make sure that you are registered and then you can request a call back at any time. It's just that I may not get back to you that same day, but I will get back to you within that week. Um, if you're wanting to, or if you haven't joined me on Patreon, make sure to check it out. Um, the Venus sign readings are there now, as well as other tiers that you might be interested in and bonus readings. All right, so we have here a central issue, Heart of the Matters, the Two of Swords. Knight of Wands, Nine of Cups, then we have the Five of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so the overall energy, I feel like you guys are coming off as blocked or guarded. Um, you also might be in denial of your attraction to someone. Um, I feel like someone is coming at you, um, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you kind of wanna be left alone. I feel like you are kind of in a place where you feel comfortable, content, or happy, but someone is kind of pushing your buttons and wants you to take off those blinders and notice them. Uh, you may be playing hard to get, or maybe, you know, someone lost your trust. Um, but I feel like you are just kind of blocked. You also could be torn, too, though. Like, there's more than one person coming towards you, um, and you can't seem to make a decision. Now, on the flip side of that story, what I'm getting is that... Um, you or someone that you're dealing with is, is distant because you or they are torn. Somebody's torn. Um, it's like, I don't know who I want to deal with. Is it this person or that person? It could be two fire signs, two different fire signs. One is older uh, and mature, and one is more younger and playful. Um... I also feel that someone has like a beehive, <laughs> like someone might be very protective of you. So if anyone tries to do you wrong, I feel like they're going to get attacked. Um, even spiritually, you might have spirit guides that are trying to stop your attackers or scare them off. You also might be doing something to scare someone off because you're like, if they really like me, then, you know, this shouldn't scare them away. So I don't know. I just kind of feel like maybe you could also be playing hard to get. Um, someone is also kind of snooping, but they almost get caught. Um, hmm. I feel like someone is, is kind of interacting with you or starting an argument and then running off. And it's just like, get back here. You, we need to finish this. Hmm. I feel like you've got sketchy energies around you too. Mm. Someone also might be playing mind games. Now, I also get the energy of someone, of you dealing with someone who's a writer. And I feel like this person is putting your business or turning your your relationship into a story or something. And you guys might be bumping heads about that. You might feel like, I don't want you airing our dirty laundry. And they're like, well, I'm fictionalizing the characters and no one's going to know. So I kind of feel like if you're dealing with some sort of artistic person, especially more so like a writer, they're trying to uh, reveal your story, but they don't, but you don't want them to. Um, if you're in a relationship too, 
it seems like something's going on where you feel obligated or you're dealing with somebody that's in a relationship, but they, they're saying they're only in it because they feel obligated. I don't think that's 100% true. I feel like this person is very content and they're very happy in a relationship, but they're just sneaking around with you. They just want their, they just want both of you. Um, so don't let them tell you that they're unhappy. That's not true. They're very happy. Um, if this is you, something is like an illusion. Like something's going on in paradise. There's trouble in paradise, put it that way. Something is not all what it seems. I feel like you might be displaying um, or painting a happier picture than what's actually going on. Mm. And then going back to those of you that are single, I feel like... I feel like you're still holding on to that dream of finding that right person. And I feel like maybe you're still thinking about them. You might be the one that's lurking on them that almost gets caught. You just want to see what they're up to. You want to see if they're single, if they're still in that relationship. Um, unfortunately, for some of you, if you're snooping, you might find out that that person is still in a relationship. Hmm. Now, you also might be trying to avoid someone because you know they're in a relationship and that's why you're running off or trying to push them away because you're like, no, I don't want to keep being involved with you if you're still in a relationship with that person or if you're still living together. Maybe they're not in a relationship, but they are, they're living together because of some sort of weird circumstances, and you're, but you don't like that. I feel like someone has a dog or you guys, someone is using the dog as an excuse to walk, but really going to meet up someone. So I feel like someone lives nearby. They might meet at the park. Also, someone might find a stray dog or it seems like the dog is malnourished. Um, okay, so something's going on. Yeah, like I said, someone's in a relationship and I feel like they're making excuses to leave the house to excuse themselves, but they're really going off to meet someone. I feel like you're also trying to avoid someone who's in a relationship, but there's, oh goodness, there's some sort of addictive situation going on. You guys can't seem to break a habit. Maybe you keep telling yourself you're not going to deal with this person anymore, but you still end up running back to them. Yeah, someone is making something up making excuses mm. I feel like someone's also being manipulative and they they might be stringing you along like I said if someone says that they're not happy in their relationship that is not true they are even if it does feel like a burden sometimes overall this person is happy they're not miserable <clears throat> Um, hmm. Yeah, somebody's just being greedy. Now, I'm also seeing somebody um, secretly getting like a lot of readings done on you, or you might be getting a lot of readings done on somebody. It, it gets to the point where it's unhealthy, so just kind of try to get a hold of yourself. Somebody I feel like is getting ready to take a vacation without you or you are taking one without somebody. This is for those of you in relationships. I feel like someone is sneaking off to do something else or they might say it's a business trip or a family trip, but it might be something else.
even if it's not to cheat, I just feel like they're lying. They're not, they just, they just want to go alone. Somebody's ex will be spying, but they don't want to really acknowledge that they're thinking about you. Mm. I also feel that if they are trying to get your attention, they're like leaving clues and hints and hoping that you'll follow. You might be resistant at first. Hmm. I feel like someone's also sending you messages through someone else's account. Like someone has access to somebody else's phone or somebody's account. And I feel like they're sending you messages through it. If it's not like someone else's account, then it's like somebody has like a fake number that they send you messages through. Someone is doing the most, whoever has a relationship though, I feel like they're doing the most not to get caught, but they might slip up. I also see in a situation that it's not cheating, that's a, that's a factor, but somebody is pregnant and doesn't want to tell their significant other or they're purposely trying to get pregnant, like um, sabotaging the birth control. Oh my goodness. Definitely is an air, uh, air sign is on your mind or still thinking about that air sign. That person may have been a person of your dreams or you feel like that's the one that you let get away or they feel this way about you. But I really feel like you feel like the air sign is the one that got away. That's the one you see yourself with. Yeah, somebody's still holding on. Someone still values the friendship. Mm -hmm. I don't know if someone, uh, if the air sign betrayed you and that's why you're trying to stay away from them. But I feel like this person's trying to come back. Let me check one more thing here. Someone also might have a secret they can't, they're trying to keep. This goes back to somebody who's in denial of their feelings. They're like trying to hide how they truly feel. They still follow you. They might be following you under a different account. Or if they are following you following you under their real name, um, they're trying to pretend like they aren't paying attention, but they are. Mm, they're always trying to see what you're up to. And they read they read through your post and they like to read what other people have said, they like to read the conversations. They're just keeping quiet. Yeah. All right, so those are the messages that I have for you guys. Hopefully it resonates. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.